Kyle Hamilton had an outstanding rookie season. He showed that he can impact every aspect of the game at a high level, but he's most likely going to be moving back to safety this year, and a lot of Baltimore's defensive success will come down to how he handles that position change. Before we get into the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Also follow us on all of our social medias. You can find the links to those in the description below. Hamilton was PFF's second highest graded defensive back in 2022, and he started out the year at safety, but about halfway through the season, Baltimore moved him to slot corner, which ended up being a smart move to take advantage of his versatility. Being closer to the line of scrimmage gave him more opportunities to make an impact. He was more involved in the run fit, and they started using him as a pass rusher, and he really thrived in that Swiss Army knife role. But now with Chuck Clark in New York, it looks like Hamilton's moving back back to safety where the Ravens initially drafted him to play. So that definitely adds some uncertainty as far as projecting for next year, but I still think most of the coverage skills he showed in the slot will translate to a different position. He was built in a lab to be a tight end eraser. Right here, he's covering Cade Otten on a deep out. He's playing with inside leverage and he does a good job anticipating this route break, although Otten kind of telegraphs where he's going here. But at the break, Hamilton puts his inside hand on the shoulder, which would protect him if Otten cut inside because he could use that to propel himself in the opposite direction and get his hips turned around. But it also means that his hands in striking distance when the ball gets there, all he has to do is lock his elbow and break up the pass. On this play, Baltimore's in quarters, so if the tight end's fast to the flat, that's Hamilton's responsibility. He jams him at the top of the route to establish contact and disrupt the route break. Great timing with the inside hand to shield the receiver from the ball. And what's most impressive about this rep is Hamilton's eye balance to play perfect coverage on this speed out while keeping his eyes on the quarterback. Sometimes, especially on third down, you just need really physical coverage for a few seconds to give the pass rush time to get home. So right here, it's third and 10, and Kyle Hamilton's playing catch coverage which is pressed but just a few yards back and all he needs to do is make contact and cover him for three to four seconds he can afford to be really aggressive because he has safety help bracketing the seam route so the pass rush wins before Otten can get open and Brady has to pretty much throw this one away in zone coverage Kyle Hamilton's the type of player where you need to know his location on every snap he has some of the quickest acceleration I've seen when it comes to breaking on passes over the middle of the field and he's such a long strider he can close 10 yards of space in the blink of an eye so right here it's third Third and long, Baltimore is rotating out of two high into a deep cover three, so Hamilton's rolling into the curl flat, and he identifies the slip screen immediately and lays a huge hit. This is something I think you'll see more of this year. He's so good as a robber safety where he can see the entire field and just attack over the middle. This is a great play from week 15. He drops into his zone, and at first there's no one to cover, but then David Njoku leaves out on this delay route, and it only takes three steps for Hamilton to slide over, and he uses his long frame to reach over the back and knock the ball out. And then another good example right here against the Bengals. Once he sees it's a pass, he shoots his eyes outside and reads the receivers, and he immediately recognizes the bubble screen and again gets there with perfect timing for the PBU. I don't think teams are going to run many screens at Kyle Hamilton this year, though, especially not ones that leave him unblocked. His one major weakness is short area movement skills. At six foot four, it's just naturally difficult for him to mirror quick breaks. So a shifty slot receiver can be a mismatch for Kyle Hamilton. So right here, the Giants take advantage of Hamilton's aggressiveness downhill. The receiver sells the speed out, gets Hamilton to break, and then pivots inside. But I watched every single Kyle Hamilton snap from his rookie season, and this was pretty much the only hole I could find in this game. There were a couple coverage miscommunications in the first few weeks, but other than that, it was really just quick slants and return routes that gave him problems. So in coverage, Kyle Hamilton can lock down tight ends from the slot. He's a playmaker over the middle of the field, and his instinctiveness and football IQ is always on display. But Hamilton showed last year that he can be a do-it-all safety in the mold of someone like Derwin James. One of the benefits of playing Hamilton in the slot is that he's closer to the line of scrimmage and closer to the action, so he's able to impact the game in more ways. Weeks one through eight, when he was mostly playing safety, he had one run stop and four tackles, but after week nine, he had 13 tackles, six stops, and an 88.1 PFF run defense grade. So that difference is purely the result of opportunity, and it's one of the main reasons I think Baltimore moved him up to the slot, because it's kind of a waste to have this safety with linebacker block shedding skills out of the run fit. He also has a lot of potential as a pass rusher, which is another thing you saw more of once he moved closer to the line of scrimmage. Usually it's blitzes from the slot, 
spot where he can use his timing and closing speed to catch quarterbacks off guard, but he actually flashed some legitimate pass rushing moves. Great play right here against the Browns. He uses a stutter swipe swim. So this initial hesitation freezes the blocker and draws out the punch. And then Hamilton swipes at the outside arm and swims over the top. And pass rushing stats for DBs, you got to take with a grain of salt because it's usually a really small sample size, but Hamilton led defensive backs last year with a 19.4% pass rush win rate. So those are the two parts of Hamilton's game that I think will be diminished the most by moving him back to safety. There's still ways Baltimore can involve him, but a lot of his effectiveness as a blitzer was based on the fact that he lined up in the slot every play. If he's at safety for 50 snaps a game and then they have a few plays where they walk him up to the line of scrimmage, that's going to alert the offense that he's probably blitzing. So I think at this point, it's fair to say that Kyle Hamilton was a hit. He was solid as a safety and great as a slot corner, but he has the ceiling of a top five defensive back if he's used correctly. So I'm interested to see how defined his position ends up being. I think ideally he's a matchup weapon that you play all over the field depending on the opponent, but that's a lot easier said than done to do that at a high level. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Also let me know in the comments any NFL players or teams that you'd like me to cover.